Premium bonds are the UK's largest saving product with over 21 million people saving in them today. But it has recently come under fire for two reasons. One, some unfavorable changes in the way it rewards customers for saving. And two, for the poor level of service it has provided during this COVID-19 pandemic, with many complaining that there are several delays when trying to withdraw their money. So what exactly are premium bonds and should you be saving in one? That's exactly what we're gonna be discussing today. So without further ado, I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. So premium bonds is an investment product issued by National Savings and Investments. And it is a place where you can deposit money into it anytime you want and also withdraw from it anytime you want as well. However, unlike other products, you don't actually get any interest return like you do with a savings account, nor do you earn any dividend income as if you were with a investment product. But instead, this product enters you into a prize lottery draw where you have a chance of winning 25 to a million pounds each month. So how does this work exactly? So basically, every time you deposit one pound into a premium bonds account, you are given a unique number for that one pound. And at the end of every month, all the numbers are put into a lottery draw and those selected are in for a chance of winning some money. As I mentioned before, the money can range from 25 pounds all the way up to 1 million. But remember, this is a lottery. So although you do have a chance of winning some money, you also have a chance of not winning anything at all. And that means your savings account won't earn any interest, which can see it depreciate in value over time thanks to inflation. National Savings and Investments is backed by Her Majesty's Treasury, so you can be rest assured that your money is safe and sound when you put some money towards premium bonds. The easiest way to apply for premium bonds is to go on the NS&I website and apply online, but you can also do this by phone and by post, and I'll put all the details on how to do this down below. Now, if you don't have an account with them already, you will be asked to sign up, and please expect that you will need to provide some proof of identification as well as proof of address. Note that the minimum to buy a premium bond is 25 pounds. So if you ever want to buy one of these, you do need to buy them in 25 pound chunks you can't go any lower. And the maximum that you can hold is 50,000 pounds. Although you can actually hold more in one of these accounts, however, any pound after 50,000 won't be entered in any lottery draw. It stops when you reach 50,000. If you are a parent, a legal guardian, a grandparent, or even a great grandparent, you can actually buy bonds on behalf of a child under the age of 16 on the phone and online as well. You will be nominated on the application to look after the bonds until the child turns 16. Once they do turn 16, NS and I will send out a letter to you on the options that you have to manage the bonds going further and for the option to transfer the bonds under the child's name. So what exactly are the chances of you winning a massive prize? So premium bonds have grown in huge popularity over recent times, and this is particularly driven by most people not seeing savings account a good place to hold your money, just because interest rates are at an all time low. And from what I can see, most people are like, forget this, let's try and win some big cash by putting our money into premium bonds. So let's figure out how likely you are to win anything from the lottery. Now, I did mention at the very beginning of this clip that there was an unfavorable change in how premium bonds reward customers. And that was when the NSNI decided to change its prize rate from 1.4% to 1%. So what that means is from December 2020, there are less prizes to be won from the monthly draw compared to what it was from November 2020 previously. Now the NSNI have already done the draw for December with the next one being on the 5th of January 2021. So let's look at the numbers of how many people won each prize. By the way, if you are enjoying this video so far, be sure to like, comment and subscribe with notification bell on. I release a video every single Monday talking about all things personal finance with the ultimate aim of helping you be better with your money. So here are the numbers for December. And as you can see, the 1 million prize draw was actually given to two bond tickets. 100,000 got four tickets, 50,000 nine, 
and this goes all the way to 25 pounds where you've got just about 2.8 million ticket winners. So as a whole, almost 2.9 million tickets won a prize in the month of December. Please note that I'm using the word tickets rather than people because one person can have several tickets enter the draw at the same time. And more than one of those tickets can indeed in fact claim a prize if that person is lucky enough. Although it is exciting that you are in with a chance of winning the one million pound prize draw, you can see from this diagram that this is really, really unlikely. Only two tickets will get that million pound prize every single month. And if you look at the odds here, that is one in 49.48 billion. I wonder what that's in uh, percentage. Let me just do some quick maths. Wow, okay. Um, I'll put the number on the screen because it is an exceptionally small number. I think it's 0.000000. .000000 2%. So very unlikely. <laughs> so that was just the percentage of just winning the million prize draw, which, you know, we can typically expect that to be a really unlikely number. So let's just look at the number of just winning any prize. So here it says 2.9 million tickets won a prize in the month of December. And this works out to be one in 34,500. Now in percentage terms, that is 0.0029%. So although there was 2.9 million tickets that won something, on the other side, there was almost 99 billion tickets that won absolutely nothing. So this now leads me to asking the question of whether it's worth investing in a premium bond. And my answer is no at least it shouldn't be your primary source of saving. Premium bonds is essentially just a lottery and it's really just down to luck whether you do well in it or whether you not do so well. I've read online there are some people that do do well but there is a vast majority from what I can read that absolutely get nothing from several months of investing in this. The only way to increase your chances of gaining something from the lottery is to increase the amount of money that you put into premium bonds so you can get more tickets to enter the lottery. Money Saving Expert did some calculations and they saw that for an average person with an average amount of luck, they need to at least put in 10,000 pounds in premium bonds for them to get some decent returns. But even those returns still don't beat the interest rates that we gain from just regular savings account. I did a video earlier this year where I walk you through how you can find the best savings account for your needs. So if you do some research, you can find a savings account that does give you a decent amount of returns. It's not gonna be great, but decent for what the market is offering. And in my opinion, if you are someone that is just looking for a savings account to put some money away, just a regular savings account will be just fine. I think that's a better option than the premium bonds because at least you have a better chance of getting something over the long term. And as everyone in the UK does have a personal savings allowance, which means that you can earn a certain amount of interest before getting taxed on it, for basic rate tax holders, that is 1,000 pounds you can earn every tax year. For higher income earners, that is 500 pounds. So the benefit of getting tax-free cash winnings from the lottery is kind of lost because our personal savings allowance are typically high and they're never really reached. Personally, my suggestion is for that for the majority of us, we should really be putting the majority of our savings into some form of investment account with a small majority going towards a regular savings account with a bank. However, that's not to say that there isn't some use cases where it might be worth actually getting a premium bond account Account. One of them could be that if you are someone that has maxed their personal savings allowance, whether it would be a thousand pounds or 500 pounds, depending on your income bracket, it might be worth holding the rest of your money into a premium bond account because any money that you win will be tax free. Also, if you are someone that sleeps better at night, knowing that the majority of your money is sitting in a savings account somewhere rather than an investment, therefore premium bonds could be an option as we've demonstrated that the more tickets that you buy in a premium bond, the more chances you have of winning a good amount of money from the lottery. And on the flip side, if you are a person that doesn't really have that much money, but again, you're not really into investing and you don't really want to put your money into a savings account because interest rates are so low, then you might be someone that is willing to chance it in the hopes that you can win big by entering the premium bond lottery draw. Cool, so that's it for this week's episode. I hope you found that really useful. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on premium bonds and indeed if you've entered and have you won something from it. I'm quite keen to learn that as well. And if you like today's video, I would 
really appreciate if you smash that like button. That does wonders for the YouTube algorithm and the growth of my channel. Also, I release a video every single Monday, so if you want to keep up to date with those, hit the subscribe button as well. See you later.